Hey guys, and welcome to a special Titan Tries on the 23rd. Uh, this is for Reader of Jill Sandwiches. Happy birthday, buddy. I've been thinking for a while um, of some kind of project to add for your birthday. Uh, sadly, I don't have enough spare time to insert a Let's Play for you. However, uh, recently he brought to my attention a game on the PlayStation 1 called uh, Star Trek Invasion. I don't... I watched some Star Trek, especially The Next Generation, quite a bit back when I was a wee child, uh, and I actually really enjoyed Invasion. Uh, Invasion? Um, Star Trek The Next Generation. So I thought, let's quickly fire up a tries. I don't actually possess a physical copy of the game, but due to, well, means, <clears throat> uh, I have preemptively got myself uh, a digital, <laughs> digital copy of the game. Um, I did look up buying it, but it's not necessarily an easy game to get. And uh, in the local shops uh, down and around me, they did not have this particular game. And obviously, if I ordered it, it wouldn't be ready for today. So what's special about Star Trek Invasion? Well, uh, it's a game that I'm not actually familiar with. However, it's made by the original creators of the Colony Wars series. And uh, I've been told that it's a little bit similar to them, which excites me greatly because I freaking love the Colony Wars games. Ha! Huh, who would have thunk? So, we've got a little bit of blurb here. Star Trek Invasion is a space combat simulator game based on the Star Trek The Next Generation universe. That's kind of good because The Next Generation uh, was probably the Star Trek that I watched the most of as a kid. Um, I don't watch TV and series these days. I don't know why, but I watched a lot of that as a kid. Well, apart from Future Armor, but that's because that's my favorite show of all time. Um, so I have a little bit of knowledge, maybe. Let's see if this will reawaken any childhood memories of mine. Um, the game follows the adventures of Ryan Cooper, a young pilot of the Elite Red Squad, who is assigned to the USS Typhon under the command of Lieutenant Commander Worf. Ha! A name I recognise. Yes, funny fella with a walnut for a head. Cooper and his squad mates must face various threats such as Borg, I remember those, Romulans, I remember them too, uh, and a mysterious alien race called the Car something or Cam? Cam Jati? Alright. Who are bent on destroying all life in the galaxy. The game features uh, voice acting from Patrick Stewart as Captain Jean-Luc Picard, as well as Michael Dorn as Worf, as well as an original storyline written by James Swallow. Well, I don't really know who James Swallow is, but I recognise some of those other names. Now, I'm kind of looking forward to trying this. Uh, I saw a couple of screenshots, and, well, consider me thoroughly tickled. So, the game was developed by Warthog Games, who had previously created the Colony Wars series. Uh, three of my favourite games on the original PlayStation. So, we're already starting off very strong. The game was the first Star Trek game... Oh! It was the, actually the first Star Trek game to be released for the Sony PlayStation. The game received gener generally favourable reviews from critics, with an average score of 76 on Metacritic. 76 is a pretty good score. The game has multiple endings, depending on the player's performance and choices throughout the game. I mean, that in itself doesn't surprise me if it's made off the back of Colony Wars, which, you know, um, a moving story was with multiple paths was kind of par for the course for them the game features a multiplayer mode that allows up to four players to compete in various modes such as deathmatch capture the flag and team deathmatch really how interesting all right so this is for you reaver old boy uh let's go take a look at the game
God, I miss splash screens like that. Probe H0169 active in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Probe systems deployed. Ship's log. Starfleet science vessel, USS Lovell. Captain Zidane Blackwood recording. We received disturbing sensor recordings from a Class 5 probe we sent to the nearby Titan system. I'm relaying to Starfleet the visual data gathered by the probe before it was destroyed. Captain's log, Stardate 54111.79. A force of Borg warships are currently passing through Klingon space, on course for Sector 001, Earth. The Federation is assembling a flotilla of warships, but we need to delay the Borg while we marshal our forces. Lieutenant Commander Worf will brief the elite of the Starfleet's pilots aboard the USS Typhon, a mobile outpost and carrier starship. Pilots, as of this star date, you are assigned to the Valkyrie Squadron aboard the USS Typhon. Capable of launching 26 Valkyrie-class ships, the Typhon has a full array of pulse phaser turrets and quantum torpedo tubes, as well as complete medical and scientific facilities. Together, the Valkyries and the Typhon are the most effective fighting force in this sector. I expect you to improve that capability. Training will begin immediately. Now that was a hell of an intro. Uh, I'm already very invested. Okay, so I can tell straight away from the intro and the style, it's very much um, made by the same people as Colony Wars. It's a very, very similar. Uh, let's just say it's got their, um, it's got their signature on it. Um, okay, very happy to see uh, the original voice acting because, you know, they, they, we've had games before um, based on popular, you know, TV series uh, where they substitute the voices, and it's not the same. It doesn't work. Uh, I, I'm not one for getting big actors and things uh, to play, you know, in video games, right? Unless that is already based on a pre-existing property with those actors in it. Personally, I'd rather them spend that money on the game and not the actor. However, like I said, you know, obviously if it's a big property, especially, you know, like Star Trek, which is, you know, arguably, especially at least at the time, one of the biggest properties going. Um, yeah, I, I'm, uh, I'm so down for this. So let's start the game. Please select a mission. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that Colony Wars stank. <laughs> Mm -mm. She's smelling good. Okay, so raw recruits part one. So I don't know what a typhon is, um, but it sounds and looks pretty badass. I know the Borg are pretty, pretty bad news to say the least. And I don't know why we have some kind of weird sound effects playing in the background. One second. Okay, that was pretty bizarre. Apparently. Uh, this emulator had already uh, loaded up and started to play Resident Evil 3 for reasons? Alright, whatever. So we had this playing and Resident Evil 3 uh, doing its thing in the background. Anyway, uh, not sure what that was about. So yeah, the Borg. The Borg is bad news. Um, <laughs> very bad news. Um, I guess we'll do some training? Well, Probably a good idea. Training program. I am Lieutenant Commander Worf and I will be your tactical officer for the duration of this operation. I will assess your performance throughout your tour of duty and instruct you on the use of weapon systems and helm control. Training missions will be flown under a time limit, and I will observe and grade your performance based on your combat skills, reaction time, and accuracy. Your ships have been fitted with a standard weapons configuration. Begin now. Well, that's, uh, that's questionable. Um, voice acting is incredibly strong, as you'd imagine it will be with professional actors. All right, let's go. Let's go shoot some target drones, question mark. Ooh. 
Oh, oh, come on. Colony Wars. Literally, that's straight out of the first game. Um, <laughs> it just replaced the ship. But that's fine, because that visually looks very good. So we've got to fly through some rings. Okay, so R2, hold to accelerate. I'm guessing we're going to have very similar controls. The music is also um, quite nice from the sounds of things. Very atmospheric, which is what you want for a space game. Controls are uh, pretty much, yeah, feel pretty much like Colony Wars, which means at the moment I'm relying heavily on the D-pad. So we can roll. All right, we can roll with the shoulders. Oh, that was not fantastic. Probably shouldn't have really. All right. Now, Mr. Wharf, before you start getting the red pen out, <laughs> shield strength, we're going to kill ourselves on the third ring of the game. <laughs> Fourth ring. Yeah, I can already see uh, old Wharf going for the red pen. This guy's a loser. Wash out. Feed him to the Borg. All right, so yeah, we can roll right and we can roll left. We know these things. Now, there we go. So double tap the accelerator and we can boost, which we might be able to play fast and loose with the engines here and get some... Uh, that's not working at all, is it? That's not working. <laughs> should we just... Should we just <clears throat> restart? Yeah, I, I think I think we should uh, just scrap all of that and start again. Timer activated. <sighs> yeah, maybe we uh, got our Starfleet a little bit too quick. You know, I don't want to say I'm a bad pilot or anything, but it's been a little while since I've been in the old, uh, damn it, Dark Angel. Really? The hitboxes on these things. Oof. They really want to make sure you're the best. The best of the best. Well, I've got bad news for you, Starfleet. <laughs> You've got me. Um, so that's kind of on you, really. I'm sure you picked your candidates. To be fair, the controls are very good. They are very responsive, very twitchy. Kind of what you want, really. There we go. Ah, oh, it fits like an old glove, doesn't it? Like a comfy pair of jeans. Sure, there's some holes in the crotch and the pocket doesn't uh, actually contain anything anymore, but, you know. Um, Shield strength decreasing. I don't know what happened there. I think we actually got stuck on the ring. Shields are failing. Yep, yep. So is my application for Starfleet, but I'm already here. Maybe we should leave the older uh, afterburners right what's that left I'm trying to read stuff here but it's um, yeah so the other trigger just pushes us backwards which is nice okay okay this is fine everything is fine please don't pop things up on the screen when I'm trying to maneuver through rings hey First objective complete. Well done, Cooper. Thank you. Proceed. Not, not next really area. sure we should be getting a, uh, a congratulations for that. Nearly got taken out by a ring. Right, tow each cargo pod through its respective. Timer a. What? Press and hold to activate the tractor beam. Right. Once the tractor beam has locked on to an object, it will change color. Once uh, captured, release the button and the held object will trail your vessel. That to drop a held object, tap the tractor button. Right, okay, I once. see. I see. So I'm guessing blue's gotta go through the blue one. Um it's saying hold the button. But but the the, the button fires the torpedoes. Um how do we how uh Phaser. 
beam. Okay, I'm guessing somehow we must be able to select the other weapon. Hang on. Uh, abort audio mission objectives. Uh, is that going to make us redo the rings again? If so, we'll just peace out of this. No, right, so. Select tractor beam. How do we select tractor beam? Press and hold to activate the tractor beam. Right, push Once and hold. Once the tractor beam has locked on to an object, it will change. I am holding. Once captured, release the button and the held object will uh, trigger the vessel. To drop a held object, tap the tractor button once. Okay. Directing energy reserves. I'm gonna guess that this is an emulation problem. Because we have no way of selecting a tractor beam. Uh, which is a problem. I'm I'm holding the I'm holding the X button down. Uh See if I hold down B, we get to choose our primary weapon, but the secondary weapon does not appear to operate. All right, you know what? Let's get out of training. So that's something. If we were going to do an actual let's play, we would have to research. Not sure. That's unfortunate. Anyway, we know what we're doing. Select a mission. I hope we don't have to use any tractor beams in the first Mission level. Because, <laughs> gee, that would be awkward. The Combat Group has launched a number of unprovoked attacks on Federation shipping in the Zeria system. <gasps> zone. A patrol force of ten Valkyries will be dispatched to investigate. Each of you will fly in a two-ship formation and report any contact with Romulan vessels immediately. You got it, Mr. Wolf. Let's go. Engage Romulan fighters. Excellent. I hope we don't have to use that tractor beam because uh, we're going to have problems otherwise. Proper problems. Attention, hostile vessels in pursuit. Warning, more vessels decloaking. Well, that's bad. I don't really know. The Romulan vessels are not responding to our hails. I don't know in Star Trek if they really use a lot of um, fighter ships and that sort of thing. The Romulans are charging their weapons. They are preparing for combat. Excellent. Oh god, they're getting a drop on us straight away, huh? Alright, let's go. Redirecting energy reserves. Uh, yeah, you, you do that. Right, how do we lock these guys up? Ooh, smoked his ass. All right. They're shooting as much of that green shit at me as they can. So it doesn't look like we have any kind of target locator or anything, apart from the map, which is interesting. Oh, he's toast. Looks like our buddies are doing a pretty good job as well, cleaning up. All right, you Romulan bastards. Let's go to town. Oh, it is a bit twitchy on the controls. But then, so was Colony Wars. It, it definitely took a bit of getting used to. This guy's all over me. Come on. Come on. Let's see that little green head of yours. I'm not racist. Only against aliens. Oh. Oh, he's on fire. I'm guessing you don't want your spaceship to be on fire. Or maybe Romulans like fire. I don't know. Visually, the game is superb. Really digging this. All right. And the sound effects are all there. I remember the very, um, very uh, signature sound design of Star Trek with those torpedo launchers. See, I would have thought... Oh! Hang on, now it's working! 
So I guess it just wasn't working in training for some reason. Maybe that was a glitch. Still, we don't need to train. We've got phasers. And they are not set to stun. See that sweet little Romulan ass? I don't know what he's doing. He's just twisting around. Ooh, vaporized. It's my... F I think my... F no, my friend's still going. I was going to say, if my friend's dead, that's a little bit awkward. You can do it! Oh. Okay. My buddy's actually kicking some ass. Ah, oh, looks like they're jumping in left and right. So, um, if anybody knows, like, anything about Star Trek, do they really use fighters and things? Because for most of what I remember, it's kind of like capsule ship combat. But, uh, you know, I haven't really properly sat down and watched Star Trek for 15 years or so. So, maybe things have changed. Having said that, this was set on the old PlayStation, so this would have been when I did watch Star Trek. So, the oh, you can charge the phasers up. And it fires a black hole. It's good to know. But obviously these Romulan scum can turn their ships invisible. I do very vaguely remember that. He's dusted. Kiam to Papa. I failed my training and I'm still defeating you guys. How does that make you feel? Well, did we fail it or did we just postpone it due to control issues? Probably just postponed it. Because uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Uh, I'm I'm going to be playing this. I don't know when, but we are absolutely going to be playing through this. Because this is awesome. It literally is Colony Wars. Do forces to fight, Romulan. Stand down and explain your actions. Starfleet, you have violated the Treaty of Algeron with your deceitful attacks on our ships. Are they in kind with your lives? Romulan vessel has terminated communication. All right, let's go light this bass up. It's a little bit bigger than I am, company, though. Cooper. Yeah, I can see the company. He's got a big ass tractor beam as well. Ooh. Incoming torpedo. So, if this was, oh, we get knocked around pretty hard. If this was Colony Wars, you would be able to just vaporize them with your lasers. It'd take a bit, but you could do it. Oh, he's decloaking. Now I don't know. My are at 50%. Okay. Um, yeah, this is not good. Let's start, you know, pulling some maneuvers and whatnot. Probably not the worst idea I've ever had. Now I'm guessing... Oh, that's our friend that's about to be vaporized. Well, that's not good at all. Is it worth taking these fighters out or are they just going to respawn? I don't know. Now in Colony Wars... Our shields didn't actually respawn or recharge. At least they didn't in the first couple of games. So, I'm not sure for this one. Ah, God, that smarts. Right, let's try and take this big guy out. Um, ooh. Not sure if these torpedoes are really getting through or doing much. A bit. Oh, his shield's actually changing colour. So that's probably good. Can we hit the laser guns? Yes. I no, maybe. Cease your attacks. We were merely defending ourselves. Ah, uh, now you grovel. One of your starships, the Sentinel, opened fire on our scouts during an exercise in the neutral zone. They refused to answer any hails, almost destroying our entire fleet. Your ship has gone rogue, Starfleet. If you fail to bring them to justice, this will be the cause of an interstellar incident. Why, well, you could have 
Could have just said that before, huh? Mission complete. Ship's not looking so hot, buddy. All right. Wait, our shield strength. Um, it's still seventy-nine percent. Energy reserves. Wait, so does our energy like permanently deplete? Okay. All right. I mean, a cadet pilot, third class. I. That doesn't really mean much to me. I'll be honest, but. Good work. According to our communications with the Romulans, Captain Brennan and the crew of the Sentinel attacked them without reason. We must locate the Sentinel as soon as possible and determine the motive for this unwarranted assault. Set course for the last known location, Rakar Nara in the Titan system. All right. We don't need to save. We're just going to continue. Please select a mission. We'll do another mission. Oh, we've got choices. So we've got mission 2A. Ah. Oh, man. I want to actually want to just play this. All right. Let's go to the mission 2A. Mission selected. Ensigns. A Cardassian military freighter has stolen weapons and supplies from outpost Sierra 6. The vessel is now on course for a transwarp conduit in the ABLE system. Starfleet Command suspects that this may be the staging area for a fleet of renegade Obsidian Order ships. We must intercept and halt the freighter before it reaches the conduit. Once through, sensors will be unable to track it. Valkyries 1, 2, and 3. Launch immediately. All right, let's go. I wonder if they made a sequel to this. It's got to be said, those the actual models for the planes, uh, well, for the spaceships, are very, very nice. Phoenix system, A. Eh? Federation vessels, any attempt to divert us from our heading will be met with force. This will be your only warning. I'm quaking in my space boots, boy. It's an ambush. Well, that's that's not good. I wasn't part of the deal. Oh, this motherfucker flying in some sort of weird crab craft can take a bit of a beating. Oh, he's dust. Suck my phaser. Let's give him a full charge. See what he thinks of the black hole. Redirecting. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. So that's like an EMP sort of effect. Okay. Kind of wish I'd known about that. Hey, maybe if we completed training, they probably would have gone over that. All right. We're taking some nasty knocks here. Right. Let's go. Boom. Oh, our energy. Maybe. Okay. I don't, I'm not 100% sure how the energy works. I'm sure we'll figure it out. This guy's like using some kind of cool phaser or something. Do we have those? We've got the Type 10 phaser. Oh, right. Type, let's try the Type 9 phaser. Alright, that's more of a constant beam weapon. I'm not sure if our torpedoes can actually lock their targets. But I'm sure we're going to find out. Whoa, dusted him. Uh, looks like that little git's got away. Maybe we can find him a little bit later on. Evening, sir. You're on fire. It's not going to end well for you, I'm afraid. Come yeah, on. Your crab vessel is done. Uh, there you are. They kind of look like manta rays or something. The design's very cool. I don't know if these are made up for the game or not. The Romulan capsule ship wasn't, obviously. Shield strength decreasing. At least I don't think it was. Yeah, not really sure at all how that uh, weapon works. 
the torpedoes. I guess they just fire straight ahead. Wow, this guy is not having a good time. Oh, that phase is cool. I like it. Stream of justice. Oh, you leave us no option but to defend ourselves. The Obsidian Order will rise again from uh -huh. the ashes of Cardassia. Engage all weapons. See, I don't really know what that means, but we will not be stopped by your attacks. If you will not let us pass, then you will be destroyed. Okay. Cool story. Oh dear, dear. This is not good. This is ri oh, I, we got destroyed. Mission. Damn, their lasers like really lock onto you. So we can restart, but where does that put us? Ah, uh, puts us right at the start of the mission. So the missions are kind of multi-phase, like they were in Colony Wars. Um, I'm actually going to leave this here because we're on half an hour. And I do want a small danger of this video actually going up today. Um, I like this, man. I, I hadn't, I've never even heard about this until Reva mentioned it. Um, anyway, Reva, buddy, I hope you enjoyed this one. This one's for you. Hope you have a great day. And uh, I'll catch you in the Discord. So, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.